Happy later! <laughs> I can still see it when I close my eyes. That was so loud. <laughs> Is there a seatbelt? No. Be careful. <laughs> Back to the sunny Bahamas with 82% humidity today and a high chance of death if you're not swimming in the ocean. Day one in the Bahamas of our plan to live off the land. We're going okay. Good start. That looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Oh, it's definitely cooked. What on earth's going on out here? Just um, going to head south a bit to a place called Turtle Rock. Okay. A little bit of a thunderstorm over there. Oh, see that? It gets caught under the table. Take two. She's a hot one today. These clouds are just amazing. Elena said, is it gonna rain? Cause it went, got a lot colder. There's been a few lightning strikes and we could hear thunder from this direction this morning. And I went to go for a motor so that we could run the water maker, fill all the tanks up and we wanted to go south the five, five miles and maybe get a groper. And anyway, we're headed straight for the middle of this squall. So I just had a look on the radar and, and you can see here, it's not huge, but we're headed directly into the middle of it. So I'll just, instead of anchoring where I was gonna, I'll scoot around the corner a little bit. Sometimes here in Florida though, they just grow. Whereas on the Atlantic, with the trade winds, you knew, okay, well, the wind's blowing that way, they're gonna come. They seem to have a mind of their own. They crawl around like spiders. Okay. And here comes the rain. I'm gonna drop the anchor while Riley has a look around because there's heaps of rocks, so I wanna get it stuck in some sand. <laughs> I'm just about to put a giant tray of kale in the oven because I'm making kale chips. Yeah, I had a gigantic bag of kale in the fridge and I haven't eaten it yet, so I'm going to cook it all up and I'm sure Rouse and I will smash that out in a few days. But here's what I've done. Wash the kale if it's not already washed and pat it dry. Like you don't want to put wet kale in the oven. Then what I did is I used a few tablespoons of coconut oil, I put a bunch of paprika, and some other chili powder and pink Himalayan sea salt. And I massaged it all together. And it's as simple as that. Stick it in the oven. Our oven doesn't have any heat settings, so I just put it on the hottest most of the time. Looking good. Took it out just at the right time, a little longer and I would have burnt it. So I'm gonna let that cool, put it in some containers and just leave it out on the bench to snack on as you please. Having sailed through the Pacific Ocean to some of the most untouched places in the world, we weren't really expecting for the Bahamas to wow us as much as it did. The abundance of sea life and clarity of the water is as good as anywhere we had been. It's pretty incredible that there's a place like this so close to the USA and still thriving. I really hope it stays this way. I'll show you the trick that that old lady taught me. Oh yeah, so I'm having a bit of trouble getting in the dinghy. Well, I use my feet to kick up, but I used to use my stomach to like lean on here 
but now that just feels weird so I've got to like cock one of my legs up it just looks hilarious but Riley thinks there's an alternative way of mounting the dinghy yeah but you need it you need it because water goes <laughs> I don't think that's going to be any easier on my pregnant belly. <laughs> you trying to tell me that old women do that? One did. <laughs> Legend. Someone told me that, but it's not better because you get water in your nose. Mm. I've been craving a curry for the past few days, so that's what I'm making now. I just sauteed a whole bunch of veggies, actually the last of our veggies. Um, sauteed that in water. Dinner's nearly ready and we're gonna have to go to town in a few days to pick up some more fresh stuff. Apparently the ship comes on Thursday so there'll be heaps of nice stuff then. You're gonna need a spoon and a fork to eat that. Enjoy! That's my kind of meal, thank you. See this guy that, well you can't, but the guy just came past where it could have been a girl on a power boat and he maintained an adequate distance from the stern of our boat. If there's a whole bunch of boats anchored around, there's a good chance that someone's gonna be swimming in that area, yeah. calling down. If you're in a power boat, don't just go burning through. Like, you create wake, and especially jet skis. Sparkers! You can't go at a speed where you can't see someone at all. What do sailors do that annoy power boats? Mm. Apart from just being really slow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this has been the best half an hour of my life. Mm -hmm. Really? Yep. The best 30 minutes that I've ever had. I told mum and dad the sex of the baby, spoke to mum, I've had a very nice bottle of red. Um, thanks to Doc and Dee. Thanks to Doc and Dee, the patrons of ours that we caught up with very recently. I guess being able to be in touch with people, we're not so remote that we just, we can't get hold of anyone and... Or can't get anything done. Tomatoes cost eight dollars. Mm -hmm. It's like... It's, happy it's, medium. Yeah, this is really good. Very this, happy medium. This fish. That is a boss sunset, my friends. A tour of the boat. This is Captain Z. We met you on the radio today. You sure did. It's good to meet you guys finally. <laughs> Huge fan. So I just met some of the kids and um, Captain Z was saying that 1,200 people apply to come on this ship and only 20 made it. Yep. So I just met two of the most intelligent children <laughs> I've ever met. They were amazing. Captain Z was telling me before that this boat's done over a million nautical miles. Alana, that Under is her insane. Yep. I still can't believe that. A million. Right. How many times around the world would that equal? A few. <laughs> quite a few. A good few. Yeah, quite a few. Captain Z gave us some great advice about the local storms that mysteriously appear and can produce short, furious blows of 50 knot winds, confirming what I had already read about the area. The local Bahamians call them rages. Circumspect anchoring with a sandy bite were going to be necessary. Yeah. Dig your anchor in good. Yeah. You'll be okay. Yeah. Set it like you guys know how you've sailed yeah, all yeah, over the place. Yeah. And you'll be yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah, that's an area called Grassy Bay. I wouldn't anchor in there. No. It's decent anchoring, but only, and it's okay to protect. Oh, I feel so happy to have come over and said hello. Captain Z's a legend. Just about and the most um, impressive captain I've come across. He really is. Got a good thing going. Whoa. We've just woken up because there's a thunderstorm and as I opened the back door, a lightning strike just went off and I was blind. <laughs> I can still see it when I close my eyes. That was so loud. And really close. Scared the crap out of me, hey? We are surrounded. That was miles away, that one. Poor Rouse was up all night last night, guarding the vagabond. 
like that storm was just crazy that lightning was insane and just the cracks like it, we can't capture that on camera but it is really really is something when you're on your boat in the middle of nowhere we're okay we're alive we survived our really bad first thunderstorm <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that properly behind us. I have not seen a willy willy like that since, oh, that's what we call them in Australia. Oh, I haven't seen anything like that since we were in Crete, I think. That is a powerful, it's, it's like a tunnel that comes out of the sky and it's actually bent and then it's hitting the water and you, I just shudder to think what's actually happening at water level, at ground level over there. It'd be, it'd just, it'd rip your sails straight out of the sail bag even if you had stowed it away, I think. And it's now, it's on like a 45 degree angle over there. It's just, it looks incredible. It just died, just lost all its power. But there's a bit of lightning over there. I was speaking to uh, Captain Z last night and he was saying just how powerful these uh, localised storms can get. So it's not that you gotta change anything you do really, you just gotta be aware that they're there and make sure the anchor's definitely Definitely well set. All right, I'm gonna do the dishes and have some breakfast, I think. What's happening? Go to the left. We just saw a bucket floating and we need buckets. <laughs> so we're gonna pick it up. Riveting stuff here on La Vagabond. <laughs> oh, it's got a hole in it, but we'll pick it up anyway. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Laney, dear Laney. Well, what shall we fix it? We pulled up anchor and headed back to the mainland to get some supplies. And also Stefan was due to be arriving on the ferry sometime this afternoon to join us for a few more days on board. He'd seen more than enough of Miami, he reckons. We came into town to get some groceries because the ship's coming today and we found ourselves hiring a golf cart because apparently it's the only way to see the island. And I'm really pumped. I haven't been in a golf cart for so long, since Queensland actually. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you want me to get in? I always let Riley try and figure out these new mobilic devices before I hop in. Is there a seatbelt? No. Nah, I'm just kidding. I got this. I can handle this. Let's do it. Yes, darling. Oh, dear. <laughs> you were worried. I've seen a lot of conch shells since we've arrived in the Bahamas, but this is really another level. <laughs> So this would be this would be obvious on the point to the point of boredom for a lot of our audience. But going to one of those all-inclusive resorts, you just you don't get to experience anything that's good about the place that you're going. There's a casino in there, and everything north of a certain point in Bimini is all just um, development, and you can see big plans for more. So it's just I don't know. Good on your night. There's no fish for dinner. No fish? No fish. You didn't get a thing. No. What happened? Stefan scared him. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're not good luck, Stefan. No, not yet. Well, we're having pasta for Can dinner. Can you not film how I do that nut? <laughs> <laughs> Show us your bowline. No! Come on, you need to get no. better. You need to get better at bowlines. I can do it. I, I I'm a captain to... too. Alright. Alright, I gotta fix my dinner. So you're back from Miami? I'm back. To visit for a little while? See? I'm, Miami. I'm not I'm not into big cities. No. I had either. to give you a call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please take me one more time. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to have you back. Gracias.
just doesn't stop. The rain, it never stops. And we should lift the dinghy too. Tune in next time you guys, it's a bit of an exciting one. We go visit the Bimini Shark Lab, the place where they filmed the Discovery Channel's Shark Week. And there's a bit of a romantic sail across a giant turquoise bank. You're hungry mate. This is amazing Elena. When I went under, my whole body tensed up. I never knew